Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle S-Base Calc Scripts. Today we're going to talk about how to replace zeros with pound missings. In an S-Base BSO cube, zero is treated as a relevant value. It takes up just as much space as the number, oh, I don't know, 8,736,492,123. These zeros not only take up space, they slow down pretty much everything. Retrievals, calculations, aggregations, exporting. So we want to get rid of them and replace them with pound missing, which is S-Base's way of storing that there is no relevant value at that intersection. Now clearly the best method is to find out what's creating the zeros and stop doing that. Sometimes the data source you're loading from has zeros. If so, you can filter them out of your data load or change the zeros to pound missing during the data load process. Maybe it's happening during your calculation. If so, modify the calc to not generate zeros. If users are entering them via forms, get smarter users. No, try to train the users not to enter zeros, but let's just assume they're in there anyway. So you could try exporting the database, clearing out the zeros during the export, clearing out the cube, and then reloading your newly clean input file. Or you could export the database, clear out the zeros out of the export file, and then when you reload it in, the zeros wouldn't roll in. Either way, it's slow. There's a faster way to do it. It's using a calc script. Now in this example, I'm clearing out just the actual scenario. You do the same concept for each of your scenarios. Try to pick a small dimension, preferably a dense dimension. Notice that I don't have a fix, so it will replace these zeros in the entire database or the actual slice. This is how we used to do it. What we're simply saying is actual, and then it has to be inside of a member block because we're gonna do an if. If actual equals equals zero, notice a double equals is a test for equality, a single equals is a setting to. So if actual is equal to zero, then it becomes pound missing. Now notice on the next line, I don't have to say actual equals pound missing because I'm on the actual member and if. And while this works, it's slow because it uses an if. Ifs are really slow. Pause for a second for an interesting S-based math lesson. X is a number. Now I tend to mentally use 10. Quite simply, it makes the math easier. So my example, X equals 10. So 10 divided by pound missing is correct, pound missing. 10 divided by zero is also pound missing. This one tends to throw people because they expect it's going to be a division by zero error. There is no such thing in S-based math. Division by zero is just pound missing. What if we divide by a real number, what I'm calling Y? Then we get another real number. Now we're gonna use our knowledge of how multiplication and division work together. If X is neither zero or pound missing, meaning it's a real value that we care about, a relevant value, then X times X divided by X equals X. You algebra experts watching this video can figure out how to change that and you'll see X equals X. But what if X is zero or pound missing? Well, it doesn't matter what's on the numerator because the denominator is zero or pound missing. What ends up happening is you get back pound missing. How is this possibly helpful? Now we could use this knowledge to eliminate the if, because remember, ifs are really slow. We simply say actual equals actual times actual divided by actual. Yes, you're repeating the word actual four times across here. So let's say actual is the number 10. Well, 10 times 10 divided by 10 equals 10. So we set actual back to what it already was. Well, let's say actual is zero. Zero times zero is zero. Zero divided by zero is pound missing. So even though actual started as zero, since zero times zero divided by zero is pound missing, actual gets set to pound missing. Let's say actual is already pound missing. Pound missing times pound missing divided by pound missing is pound missing, and it essentially sets it back to what it already was. So the only time this calculation will actually change the number is if actual is a zero. In every other case, it'll set it back to what it already was. Now there's a problem with this method that my good friend Joe Altman pointed out. We're taking a number that could be huge, we're squaring it, and then we're dividing it by the original number in the hopes of getting back to the exact number we started with. Now, in the world of algebra, that would always work, but keep in mind we're in the world of computers and they use floating point arithmetic. So in the world of S space, true is simply the number one, false, simply the number zero. So if we could make it take the original number and divide by one when there's a number we wanna keep and divide by zero when there's a number we wanna make pound missing, we can not only ditch that potential floating point math error, we can make it run a whole lot faster. Voila, now we have actual equals actual divided by actual not equal to zero, basically a test for inequality. So if actual is 
is zero, the bottom will return a false because we were testing for actual not equal to zero. False is a zero. Actual divided by zero is pound missing. Works perfectly. We're not multiplying, dividing. All we're doing is dividing by either a one or a zero, which is really, really quick. This is pretty good. And we could wrap this actual line in a fix if we wanted to limit it further where the zeros are cleared. Maybe fix on south or fix on cola. Maybe we just want to calculate the level zero members, in which case we might want to wrap a fix on an at lev member on one or more than one of our dimensions. Good luck and go remove your zeros.